Kieran, battle. So that's the Sumaragi Futures Institute of Technology. The Sumaragi Group is the largest corporation in the country. The fruits of their cutting-edge research are gathered inside. If they're hiding it anywhere, it would be here. My organization, Shadow Yakumo, has already done everything they could to deal with the situation through legitimate means. But Sumaragi insisted on feigning ignorance from start to finish. Don't take this personally, Sumaragi. It's the secret you're keeping that's to blame. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo, moving out! anti-ballistic barriers nothing to mess around with even so this thing isn't going to keep me from completing my mission Kirin battle priestess of shadow Yakumo coming through the barrier nullifies all ballistic impacts from the outside looks like normal attacks won't have any effect I bet if I can attach enough talismans to it my staff can break through dangerous secret. If this facility is actually clean, Shadow Yakuma will have a lot of explaining to do. things here are on the up and up sounds like their secret is in a pretty bad mood Yakumo. Need to be careful not to step on any spiky floors. They won't take me down in one hit, but they really suck and really hurt. If I can jump in the middle of a dash, I can jump further than normal. Just like... Whoosh!
to the mission briefing. It should be located in the deepest section of the basement. No doubt about it. That is a massive amount of glaives. Ugh, these guys have no idea how much trouble it was to... Looks like it really was here. Huh? What's this about? Uh, who are you? Primal dragons. Monsters awakened to power beyond Septimas. Ascending even adepts. I heard it was bad, but that thing doesn't even look human anymore. <laughs> Barging in here like that? <laughs> rude. E expediently rude, I say. What in tarnation do you want? I am Kirin from Shadow Yakumo. I'm here to clean up the mess you made. If you want to leave here alive, I suggest you get out while you still can. Shadow Yakumo? The ones who control the glaives? Did they figure out that our reply was less than honest? But, but I must say, we haven't done anything wrong. Without all these glaives, we'd never be able to keep him in check. The glaives aren't capable of suppressing this much power. It's escaping! simulations <laughs> as always our soothsayer's prediction was right on time too on time if you ask me if we had this prediction sooner things could have been much less messy oh well hey you lord of dragons i'll take that power and bind it properly with my radiant fetters your fate is sealed Power is weakening. Now's my chance. Uh, uh. What happened? I'm not berserk anymore. The glaives were only barely keeping me in check. Azure Striker Gunvolt. 
former primal dragon and wielder of the world's most powerful septima. You must take responsibility for what is about to occur, Gunvolt. Responsibility? About to occur? Who are you? I'm Kirin of Shadow Yakumo, and I'm here to borrow your power. The world changed forever when humans with strange new powers known as Septimas began to appear. As more of these adepts appeared, the world was thrown into chaos. In our country, the Sumeragi group used technology to bring peace and order while seizing power. However, they were only able to maintain that illusory peace through human experiments on countless numbers of adepts. Perhaps it was inevitable that a group of rebels would appear to fight against Sumeragi and their artificial peace. Even I, Gunvolt, once counted myself among the members of a rebel group. The battle was long and grueling. When it was over, I found myself awakened to a new power that was a step above Septimus, the Primal Dragon. Its power is both dangerous and uncontrollable. I surrendered to Sumeragi, my enemy. By using me as a research subject, they were able to seal away the out-of-control power. But... It was only a matter of time before such a shoddily constructed seal would break. Our soothsayer at Shadow Yakumo gave a single prediction just the other day, actually. They said the primal dragons and the ruler who creates and controls them would appear. You think I'm the ruler of the primal dragons? Yep, but it's gonna be okay. Because my radiant fetter Septima was able to completely seal away your primal dragon. Of course, now we have a new problem on our hands. Sumaragi totally cornered the energy market while you were sealed away. They were using the crazy amounts of energy you were leaking to provide electricity to the entire country. They even called their energy division Gunvolt Electric. They're probably regretting that one now. The energy you gave off was also emitting dragon radiation. That's energy waves that can turn other adepts into primal dragons. Are you serious? Just a little exposure doesn't seem to be a problem. That's why no one noticed how dangerous dragon radiation was until now. Many decades have passed since you were sealed away. After all that time being exposed to dragon radiation, primal dragons are starting to appear among the adept population. Gunvolt, you may not have meant to cause this problem, but you will help me solve it. I will have you work with me as I seal away these primal dragons. No objections here. If this is my sin, I will atone for it. But... Why exactly have I turned into this... dog thing? So, after the fight with Keating, I briefly returned to my original form. But almost immediately after, I turned into... this. I have no idea either. This is my first time sealing a primal dragon after all. I didn't know my fetters could cause something like this. Maybe it's because you were a primal dragon for so long? <laughs> it's a good look on you though. Very cute. 
Anyway, thanks to our negotiations with Sumaragi, you and I will be joining the Sumaragi group as legitimate employees. Gotta have Sumaragi take responsibility for their actions, right? The Bureau of Dragon Saviors. An anti-primal dragon task force with just two members. I can't believe they agreed to this. Hey, kidding? What gives? I even look like a dog on my company ID. Oh? That's weird, huh? You gotta be kidding me. Hi, kitty. How's it going? Getting used to life at Sumeragi? Hey, Lumen. It's pretty amazing here. There's some real state-of-the-art tech that's even nicer than what Shadow Yakumo has. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> You know, I'm a part of that state-of-the-art tech, right? Come on, you're still your own Septima. You're just pretending to be their technology. That's right. Lumen is the latest model of AI idol developed by Sumeragi. That's what they tell the public, at least. The truth is that she was created by Kirin and I combining our Septimas to make an image pulse. My Azure Striker can give a physical form to images based on memories of adepts I've encountered in the past. However... Since adepts themselves are so complex, the image dissipates almost immediately. That's when we use talismans prepared by Kirin's radiant fetters as a medium. The image is then sealed in place, creating an image pulse. Naturally, a recreated septima is no match for the real thing. But we can still use a variety of septimal powers. There are many kinds of image pulses, such as passive ones that enhance one's abilities, as well as skills that resemble those of the original adept. To acquire an image pulse, we need to find image fragments called image chips during missions. Picking them up will earn us image pulses once the mission is complete. Come to think of it, why don't you try equipping that image pulse we just got? You can equip it by opening the menu and selecting it on the passive image pulse screen. With that equipped, you'll be able to use my privation ability. Got it. I'll be able to give it a try later. So strange, though. Every other image pulse we created hasn't said a thing. Then there's Lumen, acting like she's living and breathing. I can't be sure of the cause. But for a while, Lumen was a part of me. I was eventually able to release her, but that might have something to do with it. I guess. She was someone really important to you, right? Maybe that's why. Anything is possible. a lot of dragon radiation downtown this is so a primal dragon has finally shown up okay i just contacted sumaragi's peacekeepers they should be able to evacuate the citizens from the area by the time we arrive the guy on the line gave me an earful about deploying on christmas eve though come on let's stop that primal dragon Okay, Kitty. 
This must be a walk in the park for you if you're already worrying about me. The Azure Striker sure is something. <sighs> That's not true. Okay, fine. Just focus on the mission, okay? I'm gonna keep you busy with my new technique. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo slash Sumaragi. Moving out! like the citizens were able to evacuate safely. This primal dragon picked a terrible night to show up. Santa's got his work cut out for him. Humans, even the robots are going crazy. How did this happen? I know this is a lot for you, but you gotta focus, Gunvolt. If you don't, you could lose your only chance to fix this. Chain lamp. Shadow Yakumo set them up to assist battle priestesses in their duties. I can use chain lamps as anchors for my arc chain. Hit it with a talisman, then use arc chain. Pervasion will use your talismans to automatically avoid attacks, so it's incredibly useful. Just be aware, though. Talismans used up by Pervasion won't replenish over time. You'll need to quickly press down twice to restore your talismans when they run out. Keep that in mind. Talismans are crucial to my offensive abilities as well, so I need to stay on top of them. Dead end, but that won't stop this battle, Priestess. Use your arc chain to get some air, then hit the next Try chain lamp with a talisman. Just keep using your arc chain repeatedly to climb up. Installations going berserk. If I were in peak condition, I'd be able to use my Azure Striker to neutralize them, but... There's no time to worry about that crap. We just gotta work together and cut our way through. You're right. Try to keep up! Doesn't matter how we do it, as long as we get the job done. Exactly are those chain lamps? The principle behind them is similar to hexapiles. Originally, they were information terminals meant for Shadow Yakuma members to access data. But let's just say everyone has their own way of using them. What? Huh? Do you really be breaking them like that? They have self-repair modules that will have them fixed up in no time. 
Just gotta make sure no one finds out. Don't blame me if you end up with a massive repair bill. Seems that dispatching the peacekeepers worked against us here. That's not entirely true. They did manage to evacuate the citizens in time. Hey, GB! Instead of blaming yourself, let's get the situation under control here. To all right. I need to keep my head in the game. Security shutter. Busting it open would be a waste of time. Time to unleash your power, Gunvolt. This is unbelievable. My power was so unstable before, but now I can control it so precisely. That's all thanks to my radiant fetters. I can use my field to adjust the output of your Azure Tiger and stabilize it. You better be grateful. I had to train like crazy to pull off something like this. My body feels so light. I have perfect air control as well. You should be able to jump anywhere you want now. Gotta make sure I'm nearby, though. I used to need special equipment to do this. But I guess I don't now, thanks to your fetters. It looks like you're in cheap condition, but your body is really overflowing with special energy. Is it always like that? No, not at all. Maybe because of the Primal Dragon transformation. It's as if my flash field is deploying unconsciously. But hey, my I can use my darts to teleport just like your arch. Anything you can do, I should be able to imitate myself. That way you won't have to worry about me as you traverse an area. The arch chain uses more power in the first place, so I'm not surprised. But you're sure it looks like you kind of float through the air when you're releasing electricity. Is it only your fault somehow? Yep. Magnetic field forms underneath me while electrified and causes me to fall more slowly. I can use my hovering ability in tandem with mid-air jumps to get over nasty terrain. Feel free to rely on me when the time comes. That's insanely useful. Guess I'll keep that in mind. So when you dash into an enemy, you get to walk onto them and it doesn't even hurt you? You really can do it all, huh? Well, it's not like I can do anything. I'm just copying a move from a non-adept I fought a long time ago. A non-adept could move like that? You gotta be kidding me. It's true. It would bounce off walls and ceilings and seriously break next speeds. His mobility was unbelievable. I've yet to try to move. What was it called again? Oh, that really brutal attack of yours? You mean the Voltaic Buster? It's an attack specially designed to take down a single target without fail. Is it really that brutal? It looks like overkill from where I'm standing. Half against a simple defense droid if they seem that way. Against a primal dragon class adept, it's probably a different story. Even with your full power release, my fetters were able to keep you from going berserk. We should still be careful going forward, though. Using your power will drain the fetters gauge from now on. The Fetters Gauge represents the stability of my seal on your power. You could also think of it as your stamina. It will decrease pretty slowly when you're doing nothing, but it'll drain very quickly when using pervasion or powerful attacks. But don't you worry. If it runs out, you'll just return to your doggy form. You won't go berserk or anything. Got it. I'll keep it in mind. I'd prefer to stay in this form if at all possible. Aw, too bad. I like your doggy form better. It's all fluffy and stuff. The fetters gauge will recover as long as I'm in the front doing the fighting, so we'll work more efficiently by taking turns. However, I can't switch places with you until the fetters gauge is at least 100% full. We just can't take any chances.
chances with your power. Don't forget that. Understood. I'll do whatever I can to assist, even if it's only for a short time. Also, if you really want to keep the gauge up, press down twice and keep it held the second time. You can concentrate your energy to keep the gauge from decreasing. You won't be able to move, but you'll still evade enemy attacks with pervasion. So it might come in handy at the right time. I'll need some time to adjust to this, but I'll keep it in mind when I want to preserve the fetters gauge. Huh? Sensing something. Yo, babe. How you doing? You picked a fine day to take your dog for a walk. Why is a cutie like you out all by yourself? I'll be damned. It speaks. This is very different from your situation, Gunvolt. Come on now. We were just having a nice chat here. Why you gotta bring up some other dude's name? Name's Black Badge. How about you and me paint the town red on this holy night? Sorry, I'm not into smooth talkers like you. Besides, you're a wanted man. Ouch, total ice queen. You're just gonna diss me like that? It's always like that, huh? Nobody gives a damn about me. That's it. I've had it. I'm gonna destroy everything on this holy night. I can't stand any of you. Let's get up, everybody! This is an announcement! Christmas is officially cancelled! Hip tap hit the bricks! All you head turning ladies and gents are in for a rough night! All you happy couples get a ticket for a romantic cruise straight to hell! This guy's all over the place. He's definitely gone berserk, but seems like he might still have a piece of himself. Do you like that? Hold his emotions? Let's go! Divine Ruin Heresy! Thank <laughs> you. 